But before I start, I heard a noise. I wonder if it was the mouse trap. Hmm. Let's check. <gasps> Mabuhai squad. OMG! Ah! Check it out! Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Just kidding. There's nothing. <laughs> Sorry guys. We really gotta figure out a new bait. OMG. Mmm. What is this? Looks like pinak bed. Filipino vegetable stew with embutido. Yeah, beef embutido. And salted egg. Wow, look at those huge chunks of garlic too. Mmm. Oh my gosh, this all looks so delicious. My mouth is watering. Watering, watering. And guys, this is RJ's first time making pinak bed. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh my gosh, mmm. This looks absolutely delicious to the max. I'm gonna get salted egg. Look at that. Oh my garlic. Okay, and then I'm gonna dig in here. Oh, did you already mix the bagoong? Yeah. Guys, there's bagoong in here too. It's the um really smelly fermented shrimp paste. Like baby shrimps fermented. Oh, okay, I need to stop. OMG, guys. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of salted egg. A little bit of garlic, some squash, onion, eggplant, and bitter melon. My mouth is watering right now. Mmm, 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 mmm. Five Mabuhay stars. RJ, did you look up a recipe? You just like did this from like guess? Yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. It is so good and flavorful. Mmm, 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 mmm. But honestly, this is some of the best peanut bread I've ever had. It's even better than my mom's. And that's saying a lot. Oh my gosh, wow. Mmm, mmm. But this is your Master Chef award winning dish. I'm serious. I mean, either this or yesterday's prom. But I mean, this. This is delicious. Mmm, mmm. Wow. Let's taste it with the embutido. Who would have ever thought it would go so well with salted egg? Try it with the embutido. Mmm. 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 It goes together, the embutido, with the bitter melon. Wow. Guys, I'm mind blown. This is the most delicious peanut bed I've ever had. Oh my gosh. Mmm. I'm so impressed. Guys, I'm not lying. It is so good. Beh, you did such a good job on this. <laughs> It is so yummy, guys. RJ, you must share the recipe. One day. <laughs> Secret. <laughs> the guy's like, wow, wow. Poor the guy, look at her. She's like, I want some. <laughs> the guy, you have your food. Guys, I'm serious. This is the best peanut bed I've ever had in my life. Filipino vegetable stew. The best. The flavors go so well together. Every ingredient just explodes with flavor in my mouth. Mmm, and the bitter melon isn't even that bitter, but with the like embutido, wow. Mmm, guys, this is the best. Mmm, 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 mmm. OMG Mabuhay Squad. So, I've been working all afternoon and all evening on the tank. You guys gotta see it now. OMG, I can't stop looking. Sorry, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm just so proud of it. It looks so beautiful, guys. Okay, let me show you what's new. So if you saw yesterday's vlog, you'll know I bought several new plants um, and as well as other things. But let me show you what's new here. First of all, let me show you the carpet. OMG, the carpet is establishing now. Like, look at what it looks like up close. See? Big leaves. Broad, broad leaves with roots deep in the ground. So now this is going to continue to creep around and like hopefully fill everything. I'm still deciding whether or not to put some different colored gravel down here at the bottom just to accentuate the um the various like levels check out that christmas moss growing on the lava rock there it's awesome like on each lava rock the little bits of christmas moss that i've attached is growing it's pretty epic look at back there 
Also, there too, see? It's growing gorgeous, gorgeous moss growth. Look at that Christmas moss, just beautiful. It's also growing in other places that I've attached it, like way back there, and in places on the wood. Okay, let me show you the new plant. Okay, first, guys, check this out. Look at how gorgeous this is. That plant there, these epiphytes, are called Hygrophila pinafetida. They look like ferns. Oh my gosh, like when I added them to this piece of driftwood, it just completed the look of like a forest. You know what I mean? There's some there. It's such a small, delicate, beautiful looking fern plant that you could like grow on the wood. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And like, as soon as I put it in, it started to pearl. Like it already started producing air bubbles. So awesome. I've placed some Hygrophila pinafetida as well over there on this wood. Um, I placed it on the driftwood up here and see those like flyaway roots. They'll attach soon. So up there and it's just beautiful like moss and Hygrophila pinafetida together look really, really gorgeous. It's hard to tell like in real life it looks so much cooler. But guys, see from the top, it looks so beautiful together. It really is such a beautiful, beautiful combo. Okay, and let me show you another plant. So down here we have the gorgeous and ever ornamental Bucephila species. Bucephila have such nice plants, like that genus of plants. They're small and they attach to wood as well, but it, they're so cute. Like, look at that. Oh, guys, the color isn't doing it justice. But like, it really goes so well with this entire piece, with the king's tower, as I call it. I've also attached it to certain parts of the wood so it'll continue growing, like way back there. You see it there. And I've attached certain leaves, like up here. There's more Bucephila, so hopefully that'll grow. And guys, look at this Bucephila at the back. Look at that island of gorgeous, tiny, tiny, like micro species of Bucephila. It's so gorgeous. And like, see, it really matters matches like I put it back there to make it seem like the tank is deeper so it looks like that island is far away you know what I mean like I, I it's forced perspective I want it to look like there's another island of like plants way back there it's just see so so pretty really gorgeous so it's mainly Hygrophila pinafetida and this Bucephila but also back there is a new moss I have called Ricardia moss also known as coral moss it's growing currently on coconut shell and that coconut shell disappear once it's fully like flourished. I'm just gonna let it grow there and um, it'll look really really nice. And then I also put some Ricardia moss way back there too to make it look like a hill like way in the distance. You know what I mean? Kind of like these grassy hills but like way in the distance out there if you look through the foliage you'll see another hill that looks like this. So it's it's really a bunch of like optical illusions and playing with depth of field to make it seem like the tank is deeper than it really is. Oh, Oh, and I just can't stop looking. It's just gorgeous. Also, I've installed our back backdrop. Uh, there's still some bubbles I need to help get rid of. It looks really, really, really cool now, guys. Oh, I'm so happy with it. Do you guys like it? Oh, I just can't wait for like the plants to really flourish and fill the space in. Oh, I also wanted to show you, look, I've attached some Hygrophila over here by this mound. I know it just looks silly. It's silly that I'm like gushing over it, but for me, it's like one of the coolest planting locations for that plant. Just on the side here. It's really coming along. Oh, and also, the plants are doing so well that they're beating the algae. So I, I pretty much don't really have an algae problem right now. Just a little bit of green dust algae, which is normal, but the algae eaters in my tank are doing a great job at cleaning all the algae. It's just really beautiful. The plants are f flourishing. Look at the Amazon swords, guys. I don't even recall my Amazon swords ever doing this well. Look at that, just gorgeous.
All right, guys, so what's up? It's nighttime. I was thinking about the mouse trap, this one right here. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to change the bait. Now, one of you guys recommended that we use something smelly like dried fish. Um, and we don't have dried fish, but we do have bago ong. And like, I can't even think of something smellier than bago ong. So I'm gonna smother. Oh, some bago ong fermented shrimp paste onto this cracker and then put it back in the bait. Let's see, let's hope this works. Oh my. These Filipino mice, they're smart and they have a different palate, apparently. Okay, so let's see if I can secure this one. Mouse traps freak me out. Okay, even though this is a humane mouse trap, like it just goes slam. Oh, it really smells. All right, Filipino mouse, let's see if you'll have bago ong. <laughs> Let's see if that fits your palate. There it is, guys. If you were a mouse, wouldn't you want to have a taste of that bago ong on a Ritz cracker? <laughs> All right, let's put this mouse trap back. We're gonna catch it tonight, guys. Okay, so instead of putting it there, I think I'm gonna put it right here in this unsuspecting corner. I just feel like it's it's a little more enclosed and maybe the mouse might feel a little more secure and comfortable moving in through this corner. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. Mice and rats, I find, tend to like stick to the side. Um, it's where they're most comfortable because their whiskers like touch the sides and it's how they kind of get around. So I'm not gonna put it all the way to the end of this thing here. He or she can go through the back and around and hopefully we catch something Mabuhai squad. Yes. We'll keep our ears open. Now I still have suspicions that the mouse is probably downstairs now but RJ's convinced it's in the ant room because yesterday we did hear a noise in the ant room. So let's cross our fingers and hope we catch it tonight. I'll keep my ears open um, while I'm still awake in case we hear the trap go Guys, it's midnight and I can't sleep, so I'm gonna check on the mouse trap. Nope, untouched. Okay, I think I heard something downstairs, so I'm going to honestly just move this downstairs. RJ thinks that the mouse is up here, but something tells me it's not. I'm honestly just gonna leave it right here, back where we used to store our rice. And it's like way back here, like, ah, oh, it really smells. That bago ong, wow. Okay, I'm gonna leave it right here, like behind my tank. OMG guys, I'm hungry and I can't sleep. <laughs> it's like midnight and I'm stressed because of the Ant Canada video which is uploading tomorrow and I'm like not done. I'm like not even halfway done. I'm not even 20% done. The life of a YouTuber, right? <laughs> but I wouldn't trade it for anything else. I love being a YouTuber. Mm. That's some good water. Do you guys ever get midnight snacks? Ooh, because RJ and I worked out the other day. Oh my gosh, my appetite has like skyrocketed. I'm eating RJ's delicious, delicious pinup bit. Mm. Mm. What's your favorite midnight snack? Good morning, Mabu High Squad. Yes. Oh, let's see if we caught the mouse. Oh, guys, we didn't. Okay, this needs to be moved upstairs, and I think we need a better bait. And maybe the mouse isn't here anymore. I mean, RJ did try to take apart everything in the walk-in closet, and he didn't find anything. So maybe the mouse has moved on. <laughs> But we should still set the trap just to be sure. Let's wake up the guy. Good morning. Morning, the guys. Yes. Did you sleep well? Hey guys, do you like breakfast? Look at how messy her beak gets. So today's an egg day, right? And I mix it with her chop. And I love looking at her beak. See? <laughs> she loves it. You love egg. <laughs> so funny. She gets so messy. All right, guys, positive affirmation for Saturday, June the 6th. It is time to let go of my old beliefs about how relationships are supposed to be. Ooh, love that. There you go, guys. It is time to let go of my old beliefs about how relationships are supposed to be. And that includes all relationships, not just romantic ones. Relationships with friends, relationship with people of other races. There you go. Enjoy, guys. Buhai squad, I am so excited. Legaya, I am so excited for you. She's still eating. Oh, something I found on the internet, a certain contact I've made, is something I've been looking for and dying for for so long. 
Mobu High Squad. This is great news. And the news is, I finally 